forbidden fruit. That's so cool. Groovy peace. Harmony and knowledge. And... You used the word communicate, which got me thinking. Everything's made of energy, right? Light waves, radio waves, x-rays, even brain waves are all electric energy. If Cordelia's receiving visions from the powers that be, they're being communicated somehow. Maybe we could figure out the frequency and trace the calls. You're attracting negative energy onto your path. Bull fucking shit. Law of attraction. Bull fucking shit. Fake news. My tarot card said this to me today. Oh, really? Did your eight ball say that too? Did your fortune cookie say that too? Bullshit. Fake news. Lame paranoia. Schizophrenic. Lame paranoia, extra paranoia, teaching self-love. Self-love is so important. Law of attraction, self-love. I'm a narcissist. Self-love. Love yourself first. Love yourself only. Fake news, fake bullshit, loser. Fuck that. Love and light. What the fuck do you even mean? Dumbass. Love and light. Yeah, it's love and it's light. Okay. Okay. You didn't change nobody else. Love and light, you retard. Fake news, lame, dumbass, bullshit, things that I'm sick of. How fake, dumb, and lame. Here's a pendulum. It's going back and forth. Fake news, fake news, just like an eight ball. Get an eight ball. Get over yourself. Tarot cards, get an eight ball. Get over yourself. Palm reading is just knowledge. It's not psychic. Tarot cards is definitely not psychic. It's just therapeutic fake news words that are scrambled up to where, like, you have to believe in it. You have to believe in this bullshit. Fake news. Bullshit. Ew. Get away from me with your negative energy. You're going to attract negative things to your own past. So get out. Really? Then you were that negative person. You attracted them to your negative fake news live. Fake news. Fake news. Lame. Okay, this is my mukbang, and I want you to pay me for doing this. I'm wasting my whole time. Gonna take out of my time to just eat this in front of you. So please support me. Down in the description below, I've got a Patreon. Because I'm stopping that would really help me. So you know what? You watched my video, so I think that you should donate to it. I'm a fucking asshole and a retard. Because I just that, wanted to say what I wanted to say, which is, mmm, this is delicious. I put curry and macaroni and cheese inside these bowl noodles. Wow. And it tastes so good. Like, this whole entire spaghetti stuff. Noodles. So good. Mm-hmm. And I think this, um, video is gonna be monetized. Because, so, YouTube is not gonna pay me. Plus, I don't have enough subscribers for that. So, I wasted my whole minute talking about this fucking bullshit and watching you eat this ASMR. <gasps> mm. I wanted to talk to the computer today, so you should pay me. Where are the fucks watching? Isn't that the most retarded thing I've ever fucking heard? That's the retarded thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I'm looking for a job. I'm gonna just sit on a YouTube and talk about what I, my hobbies are. Maybe someone will pay me because I'm popular. I'm popular. So I get paid for the internet. I have so many views on the internet. I'm so popular. Um, I got so many subscribers. I got a million something subscribers. And I just want to eat in front of you. I think that would be like a success. Mm hmm. And then, um, what's, what's useless, anyways? 
because I need someone to tell me in comments below what are the useless things that I could be talking about so everyone can hear them and get excited and plus if you comment below my shit's supposed to be like um more and if you interact with the videos of YouTube people's then your shit's probably like um allowed to be in the search bar and saying oh someone interacted with your video you got a dislike or a comment or even a like or a dislike really then your YouTube will be a uh, search for easier or something like that I don't know mm-hmm so Sub for sub. Here's ways of trying to get your YouTube channel to survive. Begging for YouTube survival. And it works. Like and dislike below. Or like or dislike because we don't give a fuck if you like or dislike this. Oh, where's my, um, um, let's see. What's it called? Uh, YouTube arm candy, it's like, um, thumbnail, uh, for clickbait, clickbait, that's what it's called, clickbait. I'm eating noodles. Oh, I made them, so y'all should pay me, you, give me donations, because I made them myself, I didn't order them, so. But you know what? It's so exciting. If you start uh, fucking paying me for my YouTube videos, um, I could, uh, start ordering food and I will never have to fucking, uh, do it again because I'm a brat. These are just some of the stupidest things I've ever heard on YouTube, like, begging for survival, which it works. I'm like, wow, I should do that because maybe someone would view my stuff and like it or not. Who knows or just interact with it and then we'll ignore your comments or because it's so confrontational I don't know I used to be like oh I want if I was that famous I would definitely reply to every single comment and leave nobody out especially during live there's too many people that goes by to even um, pay attention to anybody, and that would be so horrible to just make one person feel special out of the whole group, which was so nice, but, um, the rest of people don't feel so special. If that makes you feel special, or noticed. I mean, that is really cool to feel noticed or whatever. I don't know, I'm just saying some breaking the law, breaking the law kind of stuff. I'm so unconventional, but I'm Pisces, but I'm Moon and Aquarius. Don't talk about astrology, it's so godless and sinful. I'm just kidding, ha 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 ha, or something. This is my monk vein, I'm so cool. I ate it because I'm so cool. This is really freaking good though. This indulge and pig out. Mm. Yummy. I haven't swallowed it. Um, freaking good. It is really good. Finally. Mm. It's actually organic spaghetti noodles and some curry. Golden curry is my favorite. And actually some macaroni and cheese. I got out the velvet. But I'm just stuck it in the pan. Wads it up and stuck it in the pan. I boiled the noodles, I put it in a bowl, and then I boiled the curry, and then I put it in the bowl, and then I put 
this all in this pan and put the cheese in it. Because, whatever, why not? The bowl is too small for all the noodles. Plus, we don't have to wash another bowl, which I do now because I had to bowl stuff on the pan twice. Whatever. Not so sorry of, not so sorry of my labor on YouTube. Bullshit. It's really cool because it does get you paid or something. Something does. Whenever you have like a thousand subscribers. There's no way I could swallow all this without talking. So, wasting minutes. But oh well. <laughs> um, what else are some really sneaky ways of YouTubers getting a lot of views in a comments and interactiveness, which is funny. Get clickbait and be like, haha, I made everybody just like it. Hmm. Which is still good for the YouTuber. Isn't that funny? So either way, a YouTuber wins if you watch their video, or if you interact with it, they win. <laughs> What's this cool? It's just a creative outlet, it's just a fun coloring book. I colored in my book today. Pay me. I'm so entitled. I've never asked for money from nobody before, I was retarded. But you know, I had struggles where I didn't really need money. I never asked for anybody, so I just struggled. Let it be annoying. I'm starved and... And did whatever I could, I do what I... Mm -hmm. This is money hungry re recharge. That pissed me off. That's about it. But it is what it is, and it's cool. Go for it. Be a good person. Blah blah blah. Oh yeah, I decided to get up today and do a video, so you should donate to me and watch me drink this V8. Get it, okay? Get over yourself, get over it, fuck. Do what you want. If you're entertaining, you're entertaining. Why the fuck do we have to pay you, stupid asses? YouTube's not gonna do good enough. If YouTube doesn't, why the fuck do you have to get paid? It's a job. I don't know. Well, live, survive. We're happy for you. Fuck. This is a Virgo garden thing to do. There's like bell peppers and whatever else that says. But it's really cool. <laughs> Should I perm straighten my hair? Cause look how curly and swirly it is. I mean, I think that that's really cool, but I don't want to perm straighten it straight, but then again, it will feel all dead and stuff. So, this is what it looks like before and after I ruin it. And this is all natural. This is my natural color right here. This is... And I like to cut these sideburn thingies and braid them. So, down, it's all natural. So, I think I'm going to do that. I got organic straightening conditioner in my hair, and I didn't straighten it. I guess it moisturized it. It's very curly. In my Mona Lisa zombie shirt funny. It's cool. When I take a picture of it, it tries to do face recognition. It's hilarious. Anyways, there you go. I like the little swirly curls, like Jewish sideburns. Whenever my sideburns grow out, it looks all Jewishy looking, you know? Like I'll have these two little sideburns. And then they would be curly. 
all Jewish looking, and I think that that's awesome. So, spirally stuff. So, that's my hair before the perming. Like, you instead of put the curlers and the perm chemical stuff, you perm it straight. You just comb it, comb it. We'll just see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, look at this shit. This is some of my friend's hairs and stuff. You know, I got a little bagged up. These are a bunch of braids of my friend's hair. Hair and braids. I don't think you can even fucking see that. And this. And just all kinds of people. My, some of my friend's hairs. And look at this shit. This is what I collect out of the brush. Like, Fuck! You just shedding, and you just take it all out, and then I wrap it up, and then I put it in the bag. And here's my collection. Look at this hair. This is hair. See all my collections of hairs from through the years, years of brushing my hair. Isn't that interesting and crazy? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's cool, huh? Isn't that such a cool freaking... Yeah, I give it to Locks of Love or something. I'm thinking about shaving my head so I can just regrow it all out so it can be in natural layers. And plus, I never shaved my head before that I know of. And... I don't know. It's just... I, I, I wear my natural hair either way, so it's all natural and cool. Um, and donate it to Locks of Love, but I want to keep it. It's amazing powers and energies in there, memories. And, you know, it probably has that vibration or something, and psychic energy and good shit. Isn't that like Pentecostal power love and beauty or some shit? Strength, that's what it means. Okay, well, it ha means memories and stuff. And then people say when you cut it, your emotional shit um, goes away. It's, but it's an antenna. It's a, um extension to your chakras and all this fucking shit. And it's like a tin, and it helps you be more psychic when you're when you're um, have longer hair or whatever the fuck. Yeah, well, you can still be psychic, and plus, if you dye your hair, it hinders your psychic abilities or something. Who knows what old chemicals do, whatever they do. But oh well, fuck it, yeah, that's some other crass talk. I'm just kidding, I don't know. Just some suggestions, and there's just so many things to talk about. So many things, it just doesn't, there's so many informations out there about everything. And auras, I mean... Um, yeah, auras and stuff, so. I do psychic readings. I see spirits, so. Whatever, and I'm, just whatever. Learning well, whatever is their experience. Better. There you go. And everybody can do it, too. And it is a big deal, because that's what we have to do to get in contact with spirits, and that's the best thing there is to do, ever to do, and so. There's a lot of things to think about and talk about. I can't just pause. I totally paused. Okay, whatever. Blah. Okay, I know somebody who just lies to everyone all the time, saying that they're rich and crap because they're just losers. <laughs> and they catfish people. That's like, obviously shows you that the law of attraction is not working for them or real. <laughs> Seemingly. And, you know, prayer is fucking a waste of time, usually. Unless you're actually, you know, do you see is the what you're praying to yet? And that sucks, you know? Yeah, affirmation. Manifestation is retarded and fake. It's already been exposed that it ain't real existing for people 
You just keep on making yourself think and believe all the time when no results are there. That sucks. But obviously, yeah, there's these consequences, coincidences, and then there's like souls travel in circles, they reunite. And no matter like how far you went off into the world, you just reunite with people. Like, that's awesome. Um, that works. That's real, I guess. But, uh, I don't know.